Hey everyone, so it is Saturday, um, June 10th, and it's 6 in the morning, guys. Can you even see that? This is the earliest I've ever started a vlog, I think. Um, so I kept it a complete surprise because I didn't want to jinx anything, but Jake and I are about to leave to go to Columbus, which is about two hours away from us. Um, to pick up a hamster. So, come along with us. sticker because it's a Kia Soul guys. It's the coolest. It's super blurry but look. Ah. Bear has a dual infection, double infection. Uh, he has an infected anal gland which is very sad because 
some pugs just don't express their anal glands and I didn't catch it early enough and so um, he has an infected anal gland and because he has an infected anal gland he was actually licking at um, his old incision from his PU surgery. If you guys don't know about that, you can, there's a video on it. Um, so we had to take him in for that. He got antibiotics um, and an anti-inflammatory and a cleansing wipe to use on him to um, clean up the old incision. Um, so yeah, that, that, that was the scope of today. I have, I slept for three hours, two hours. God, two hours. Um, so I'm probably going to take a nap because while we were waiting on Bear at the vet because it was a drop-off appointment because I wanted to get him in ASAP, um, we went to go see the mummy, which was all right. Um, but yeah, that means I still have not slept. So I'm going to go take a nap and then I will see you guys later. Hopefully that was all the updates. If not, um, if I'm like a little scatterbrained because I'm literally sweating to death in here, then, uh, I will, I'll let you guys know later. Peony came out for a second while I was adjusting her water bottle. She's coming to check out what in the world's going on. Things probably smell very strange for her. Her cage has, she's been in this cage for about a week and I'm not going to clean it for a while just because, um, She's used to the sense. You'll have a sleep. <laughs> She's like, why, why? There's so much noise waking me up. She's a squinty little thing. <laughs> Hi, Gudnan. Hi. Good morning. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, you don't know who you are, do you? There's a treat in your dish. Yeah, I think there's treats in your dish. Oops, I dropped it. I think there's a couple treats in your dish. Look at that, you got a little sleeping nugget too. I've been warned she's a little nibbly, so. <laughs> That's why I'm moving away. Just because I don't want to be nippled on. <laughs> you are very squinty, huh? <sighs> Let me get a closer look at her eyeballs. Make sure that it's just having her just woken up. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with them, and it's not too bright in here, so it must just be from her just now waking up. Hi, Tweetness. Oh, you see the... Do you see that? You see, what is that? <laughs> you trying to climb it? You can't eat it, though. You are very cute. I definitely think I'm going to rename you, though. I'm going to talk to the girl I got her from um, in a little bit just to find out a little bit more information about her, like estimated age and backstory. Um, but I'm going to do that later on today and I'll let you guys know. <laughs> she trying to roll. <laughs> Oh, look at how squinty she is. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever had a hamster that's done that before. It might just be because she's just now waking up, but... I don't see anything wrong with her eyes, so... She's awfully pretty. She's very blonde. All right, I'm gonna leave her alone. Let her settle some more. Probably move these houses a little so she can actually get into them. She's got them all buried. Hi, Tweetness. <laughs> She's like, uh, I'm gonna bite you if you're in my house. <laughs> That's apparently when she's the most nibbly is when you are uh, in her cage. So we'll have to work on that, I think. But that's okay. Oh, there's those eyeballs. 
She's like, I heard that. What you doing in here? Sorry, I'm adjusting your stuff. You buried it all. Sorry, I just realized I'm super zoomed in. I wonder it's not focusing right. Her water bottle's a little low. I missed the, when I put it in there, I missed the ribbon. There's a ribbon pulling it back. I'll fix that. All right, I'm gonna fix that and then I'm gonna leave her to uh, to hang out. I was considering modifying this, by the way. I just wanted to mention it. I was thinking about modifying this for her. Um, Cause I have hardware cloth that I could use to do it. I haven't decided fully yet. Cause bin cages are pretty great for dwarf hamsters, but. We'll see. Anyway, I keep saying I'm gonna leave her alone and then I don't, so I'm gonna go leave her alone. <laughs> so I wanted to sort of go over how we got Peony um, because I sort of jumped right into picking her up and didn't give her much of a backstory um, in this vlog slash video. It's only a one day. This is the next day, but it's one, more like one day. So anyway, I sort of just wanted to get into um, how we decided to get her and things like that. So for those of you who don't know, I am an admin for a group on Facebook called Hedgehogs and Things, which is a sort of um, off-topic hedgehog group. Um, and we talk about just about everything. And there was a girl in the group who um, has been in the group for a really long time. I've known of her for a very long time um at least a couple of years now actually wow that's crazy um anyway it's totally beside the point she she posted about um some hamsters that she had she had a trio of dwarf hamsters living together very peacefully very harmoniously they were sisters um and two of them passed away now she had planned on rehoming these hamsters um they were you know uh, in a foster type situation so um, but unfortunately only two of the hamsters were really tame and one of them remained really aloof and like not super into human interaction which can you know sometimes happen um, and she was sort of struggling bringing her out of her shell and she was worried that this hamster would become unadoptable because she was no longer with her sisters um, so she was sort of wanting someone um, with experience to get this hamster. So anyway, uh, I was talking to her about the two that had passed away and just sort of brainstorming ideas of what possibly could have gone wrong or, or what possibly could have happened. Um, and I was like, if you were closer, I would totally take that hamster off your hands for you. Like I, I totally, I would, be down for taking her from you um but she lives in maryland so i was like um we we definitely can't drive to maryland that's a long drive for us so uh it just so happened that the following week or no that weekend was yeah no that weekend was the maryland hedgehog convention and one of her friends is from columbus and was driving down there so we uh sort of worked it out that her friend would take peony home with her to columbus and then we would pick up peony the following weekend which you guys saw um so yeah that that was sort of that peony is roughly six months old roughly um she was picked up with her sisters in Janu end of January and she was a baby then freshly weaned so um, yeah she's roughly six months old now and uh, yeah so she's she's a little youngster she is a little nippy um, which doesn't surprise me just based on what everyone was telling me about her 
Um, she's not super fond of being picked up. From what I've been told, she's only been here a day, so I haven't tried to pick her up because, you know, she's still transitioning. Um, she does explore quite a bit, even during the day, which is adorable. That's how I got the, f the footage you guys already saw. And, um, yeah, so she's super cute, super curious about her surroundings. Um, we'll just have to really work on taming with her, which is funny because now I have two hamsters who aren't super great about, um, about human interaction. So it'd be interesting. I went from having two hamsters that were like super social to two hamsters that are pretty antisocial. So <laughs> it's funny how things like that work out. But um, yeah. So on to the name reveal because her name was Peony. And as you guys know, I don't have any flower names in my group of pets. I don't even have very like feminine names. I don't know. Um, and all of my char or all of my pets are based off of characters or spells or you know, from some of my favorite books and movies. So, uh, I knew right away I wasn't going to be keeping the name Peony. And after a lot of thought, I decided that her name will be Narcissa. The name Narcissa comes from the Harry Potter world. She is Draco Malfoy's mother and Bellatrix, Bellatrix Lestrange's, um, sister goodness couldn't remember that word <laughs> and uh so yeah in her nickname or because most of my pets with longer names have nicknames for whatever reason um i've been calling her sissa i know that in the harry potter world narcissa's nickname from her sister is sissy but i don't like that name so sissa is what i went with and yeah i figured that was a good fit just you know so she's sweet with a little bit of bite <laughs> and um yeah i think that's it for today sorry this isn't really a vlog but i figure meeting the new hamster is exciting enough so um yeah sorry there's kids playing outside you can probably hear them as per usual um if you guys have any questions about the new hamster go ahead and leave them down below and i will get to them as soon as possible Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!